The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the April 6th, the wonderful Wednesday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find a gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check out the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I do want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. Would love to hear from you. you can give us a call at 877 Nine two seven six six four eight, And if you can't call in, we've got you covered there, too. Send me an email. Send it early, please. Send it to steve at tfnn.com. And inside the subject heading, if you'd be kind enough to put radio show question, of course, in our Tigers, then will any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on wonderful Wednesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, i got all U.S. indices trading the downside. The Dow is off 249 points. The S&P 59, NASDAQ 10386, Russell 29, semis off 100, trannies down 603. Gold is off 2 bucks. Silver's off 4 pennies. Lights recruit off 320. Natural gas up 23 cents. Trade out at 626. And the 30 year Treasury off one, t one point and one tick. Trading out at 145.12. Lead the charge. Dollar wise, the upside. You've got Regenerant Pharmaceuticals up 13 bucks, 2%. Public storage, ten bucks to an half percent. United Health Group, one and seven tenths percent or nine bucks. Lockheed Martin, nine bucks, two percent. Northrop Grumman, nine bucks or two percent. To the downside, Amazon up 101 at three percent. Tesla's down sixty-one or nearly six percent. Stryker Corp down two dollars. That's it. No, something went wrong there. That's uh, weird. Okay, it is down two dollars. It's just supposed to be in order. Adobe's off sixteen bucks. Nvidia down eighteen. So let's do this. Uh, we're at the moment of truth. What is that moment of truth? Really, if we come take a look at. Here's a couple different tools that you and I love to use. We love to use our task marker profiles when it comes to that spot volatility. We love that fifty-day exponential moving average. So, if you take a look at your chart on the left. That blue line, the center line, is the 50-day exponential moving average. Those red lines are the Bollinger Bands with a setting of 50 to 1. When, so price is testing right now resistance, the 50-day. When price is below the spot volatility, it says below its 50-day exponential moving average, markets are generally bullish. So it's really key to watch that spot volatility. So 50-day right now is printing out at 24.53. We're printing at 24.28. Now, at the same time, that's a spot volatility. This is, this is like perfection with regard to me sharing with you a tool. Many of you have that have listened for years, you, you know, you're, you're probably tired of hearing about it, but it is what it is. But now we can see the importance of the of the 50 day because you have the the you have price testing the 50 day, not breaking through it. While on the right hand side chart, you got the ES Mini testing support, the bottom of its daily profile. So the bottom of its daily profiles with the, that number on a daily basis is uh, 4452. So the spot volatility closes above the 50 day, the ES closes below the 4452 level. What's that going to signal to us? That's going to signal lower price. Otherwise, so if you're short right now, what you really want to be doing is paying attention to the intraday charts because you're looking to see if there's any kind of a turn or signal. I don't know if there is or not. Well, I do know that on the 60 minute time frame, we saw a buy the D point or a Gartley buy pattern. And that looked like this. Let's go back there because I had some problems with my system. I wasn't showing the chart out here. Here is the ES mini. So the ES mini, you've got the A to B equals CD pattern already drawn in there. You get to the one to one level and what happens? Well, at 11 o'clock, you get a nice bullish reversal candle. That is the bullish engulfing. So this is telling us that the markets are attempting to form a bottom on a short term time frame. 
while on a daily basis, price is testing the bottom of its daily profile, while on a daily basis, the spot politics is testing the 50-day exponential moving average. So you've got a bullish profile here on the 60-minute chart. That says if you were to see two consecutive close below 44.59, 50 is what we'll call it. That would signal a move lower, but really because you've got a bullish engulfing, it's a low of the candles that it engulfed, which could be the candle itself. In this case here, it was the prior candle, the one that uh, formed at 10 o'clock. And that low then is your real key level of support, 44, 54, 50. If there's a close below that, this pattern will have failed. That's the A to B equals CD, the Gartley buy pattern. And then that's going to suggest a move to 44, 23. What happens if this takes hold? Well, if it takes hold, if price can close above 44, 64 that's the center of the bull. Well, that, let me make sure. Uh, yeah, 44.64. Call 44.65. If price can close above that, then what you should see is move to the top of the profile, 44.80. Now, if price can close above the top of the profile, then it says you've got more run to the upside. Where's that? Where is that price? Well, we'll take a look at the ES Mini charts themselves, the multiple time frame charts. So here's what we know. We know that that 50-day expense moving average is a very key level to be observing for the spot volatility. And so we know that the bottom of the profile profiles are also or the top of the profiles are also very key levels but for your day you already have the setup that's a beautiful thing now let's switch over and take a look at the es mini and take a look at its intraday time frame chart so we can get a feel for what's going on there we're going to try to not screw this up and change a panel so that i'm not talking and everybody's saying what 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 well so here is the uh, there is our eight panel chart for the es mini now on a so we've already covered the 60 minute chart. Oh, the 60 minute also has a TD9 count bottom. So you've got two. Does two bottoms mean it's uh, better than one? No, it doesn't mean that. Now you can also see they got the oscillator and change line printed at about 44.70. So closing above that as well as closing above the uh, top of that profile for 60 minutes, 44.80 would then suggest to move to 45.27. You don't have that message right now. It's what to look for. We already know the downside. Uh, because we've, we've covered that with that A to B equals CD pattern. On a 30-minute chart out here, do we have any kind of a bottoming signal? And the answer is, um, yeah, you had a seventh wave move, turns out. That took place at 1030 this morning. So again, just supports, and that was the low of the session so far. So a close below that would be a secondary signal of the market wanting to move lower, whereas this could hole 44.7125 the top of its 30 minute profile has been a level of resistance so you would watch that 120 minute time frame chart nothing not a zip 240 nothing not a zip and the five hour chart as well so it's going to be all about the daily support and your 30 and 60 minute charts when it comes to the ES Mini. Let's go take a look at the NQ out here. Now, the NQ, I'm just, I'll just switch over to the, uh, the set of charts that uses some smaller time frames. I, in other words, I uh, yes, that is true, Dan. I'll cover that here uh, momentarily. So let's go over and take a look at the NQ. And here I've just got a different set of charts. I got rid of the daily or the weekly and the monthly, and I just have the daily and then multiple time frames. So again, we're just looking for some bottom signals here. So the daily time frame price has not made its way back all the way to the bottom of that profile, so that support level, which would be at 14,391. The actual low of the day so far has been 14,420. Five-hour time frame chart, bar number seven, no signal. 120-minute chart, this next bar here closes at two. You could get a TD9 count bottom. This is in bar number eight. TD9 count already on the 60-minute chart, so we'll watch that uh, low. The lows of the day get taken out. That gets negated. 15-minute chart's got bottom signals, as does the 10, as does the five-minute chart out there. So Steve Rhodes with TFNM will be back in just a few. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. Dow is down 232. S&P is off 56. So we're looking at the 30-minute chart here still. Uh, Dan in the Tiger's Den had posted a, uh, just a, a statement, uh, which was that yesterday we had a spot volatilinix was up a little over 13% in one day rate of change, that is. Today, right now, we're up about 15%. And uh, Dan wrote in no bounce. And I'd say, no, that's not true, Dan. I would say no bottom. But with regard to a bounce out here, so the blue arrow shows where price uh, closed at as we came into the uh, uh, end of the session last night. So that blue arrow. And uh, we can see that price was trading inside a bearish structured profile out there. So what took place is price moved lower into the 9 o'clock time frame. And at 9.30, you got a nice little bullish uh, reversal piercing candle, just suggesting that uh, buyers were trying to defend the bottom of that profile. And from there, you actually got an 18-point uh, bounce. So you get an 18-point bounce, and then Europe opens. And as soon as Europe opens, 3.30, uh, the, the bank, the, the, you know, the, you, you know it hits the floor, so to speak. And so markets continue to move lower. Then you get your next uh, signal, which was a TD9 count bottom. That took place at 8.30 this morning. It really took place at 8 this morning. That was the bar following bar number 9. And then what you got was you got a, uh, a little bit of a bounce, not an 18-point bounce, but you got a little bit of a bounce. But price was unable to take out the top of that profile. The top of that profile then was about 44.90. The exact number was uh, 44.86. And so now you've got your next attempt. The key here, because you've got a wave number seven, you've got the A to B equals CD pattern. You know, it exists on the 60. It also exists on the 30-minute time frame. And so the real key level here, uh, Dan, everybody else that's looking, is 44.70. It says 44.69.88. The ES Mini can't trade to that price level. So 44.70. If price can clear that, that's going to then be a suggestion that price could make its way up to 45.27. Likewise, you take out the lows of the day. You've taken out those short-term bottoming signals. 
So you get a bounce or a bottom. You just have to also be paying attention to the other signals on the charts. And certainly in a market like uh, like we're in right now, you've got to be paying attention to when Asia opens and when Europe opens because they can take hold and certainly put pressure on our market. So I hope that that helps answer the question a bit out there. And uh, let's go to we've got a, several questions, four questions so far that are in five questions because there's one inside the Tigers then to take a look at an instrument Facebook. So uh, let's do this uh, first. Uh, first question came in from David H. David from uh, I believe this is David from Tomball, Texas, and uh, he wants to take a look at at uh, Tesla. So let me get the multi time frame charts up on our screen out here. I think we've got this ready to go. One of the reasons I went to it. So Tesla, he says, hey, Steve, with Tesla trading at approximately 1050 on a technical basis, do you see Tesla trading at 950? or 1150 by April 14th. So the question is, is moving higher or lower? So when we take a look at Tesla out here, the monthly chart, you've got a Rhodes momentum indicator top, but price still above that green asset and change line. So it signals neutral. On a weekly basis for Tesla, let's pull this back just a tad, Rhodes momentum indicator top, price above the top of its profile, as well as the top of its uh, above the green asset and change line. So weekly signal is neutral. So neutral on the monthly, neutral on the weekly. The daily time frame actually negated a TD9 count. And it looked like what Tesla wanted to do was get back to its highs from November 4th. But uh, there's been a change in plans out there, and sometimes there are. And right now, David, the change in plans are that Tesla is below its green oscillator and change line. That suggests a further retracement, a further retracement back to support, and it's back inside its daily profile. So if Tesla closes below uh, the level of 1052 today, that's the top of the profile as well as where the oscillator and change line is, that's going to suggest that Tesla should go target 969 to 990. You asked about 950. So I don't have anything that gets us down to 950 until you close below the bullish structured daily profile. But that is where uh, Tesla should head to. Uh, let's take a look at its daily time frame. Let's take a look at other time frames as well out here as we shorten this uh, chart up, the 195 minute chart. Roads momentum indicator top below support. The profile level says it wants lower price. 130 minute chart, the same thing. Target here is 998.87. You are in a TD9 count bottom pattern here, uh, or one that should be complete, one that will complete at uh, 150, so you're 122 right now. So that says you could see a bounce. You've got on the 30-minute uh, chart, you've got a TD9 count bottom that is going to complete at uh, 130. Roads momentum indicator signal needs a bullish reversal candle. So intercession right now. You've got Tesla that's trying to form some type of bottom. But still, I get back to this, David. If price closes below the uh, top of its profile, that's at that 1052-ish level out there, and it's green oscillator and change line, the signal is that price will move back to 990 to 969. What happens if price closes above 1052? Well, then, David, you've got neutral. You don't even have neutral. You would be in a bullish mode on the daily time frame. And then I'd say, yeah, that 1150 comes into uh, play out there. So I hope that is clear to you and that that information helps you out. Just narrate in the charts for its different time frames out there. So thanks so much for writing in. There was a request inside the Tigers. And I don't want to forget this to take a look at Facebook. So let's go ahead and let uh, Facebook go ahead and populate on our screen out there. And in the meantime, I'm going to go take a look at it on the black background charts out there. See if there's anything that sticks out. Now, I don't know what the question was about Facebook. Others, Steve, can we look at Facebook, which we are, and Facebook right now is trading out at 223.55. It is trading with inside its daily profile. So when we look at Facebook here, we're looking to see what do we see? So you've got a nice TD9 count bottom on the uh, weekly time frame. And what price did, let me just expand out the chart. We'll take a look at it. We'll pull this back just a tad. And it really kind of gets back to really Dan's question this morning about the lack of a uh, bounce uh, in the uh, in the ES Mini. We, we found out, no, there was a bounce. It's just, uh, you know, paying attention to time frames and profile levels. Here, if we take a look at the weekly time frame, you get the bottom. And that says price should go up and test that oscillator and change line. That's exactly what took place last week sort of, and it's certainly taking place this week. So it's a red oscillator and change line. On a weekly basis, intermediate term time frame, if this level holds, then it says that its counter trend move could be over. If price were to close above 228.06, now it's not going to be exactly that number if price moves higher, but a close above that would then suggest it runs up to 242.69. If you close above 242.69 at Facebook, you have an intermediate term change in trend. Why? Because we're looking at a weekly time frame chart. So that's the weekly chart for Facebook. 
The uh, monthly chart here, priced below the bo uh, bottom of its profile, it's got a road momentum indicator top. That says that long term, Facebook could be targeting 115.51. Now, you get a nice bottom pattern out here on a daily time frame. You had a rose momentum indicator signal. gets confirmed with a hammer candle. You gap up the very next day. The hammer candle is March 15th. The gap up on March 16th. You actually get a TD9 count top, and that was negated here on April the 4th. That was really suggesting to us that Facebook should make a run for 248. Well, actually, there's nothing that's changed here other than the fact that Facebook is back inside its profile levels, and it could be targeting the bottom of that profile, which lines up with its oscillator and change line. If price were to close below 21228 this is a daily time frame then you'd be looking for facebook to pull back to 19452 so right now uh, because you're back inside its profile level it's not really clear as to which direction it wants to trade in so then we look at the short term time frame charts and see if there's any kind of let's say bottoming signals out there and the only one is coming from the uh, 90 minute I'm sorry the 30 minute time frame which just formed a TD9 count bottom has a road momentum indicator signal bottom but doesn't have that bullish reversal candle and it's below the profile so even though it's formed a bottom it has not proven itself to us right now SNP so I hope that that helps you out with regard to Facebook. How would I conclude this at this stage here? I'd say more likely than not, price goes and targets the bottom of that profile in the 212.28 level. How will you know that? If the low of the day fails, then you'll know that because that's the TD9 count on the 30-minute time frame chart. Hope that helps you out, S&P, inside the Tiger's Den. When we get back to this break, we'll go to our next question. I think that's from Tim Hamm. I'd like to take a look at... Uh, are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the tiger's den trading room only at tfnn.com the Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. 
For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. Let's go from where it's 88 degrees to where it's about half of that, which is Toronto, uh, Cal uh, to Toronto, Canada, and speak with Michael. Michael, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Uh, okay, I'm not in Toronto. I'm in Niagara Falls. I thought you were in Niagara Falls. I don't know why they wrote Toronto down here, but uh, uh, no, no, no. probably even colder. I, 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 I'm glad to speak to somebody at the TFNN. You know, I got uh, thrown out of uh, Larry's New Cafe, the ABCD Cafe in London today. Because I uh, used an IOU from the Bank of Lebanon to buy some Arizona Roadkill, which was which was the daily menu, and uh, unfortunately I got booted out. So I figured I'd give you a call. Okay, sounds good. Well, you want to take a look at UNG, which means we really want to take a look at natural gas. Uh, what yeah. are you doing with UNG? How can I help you out? I'm underwater on this thing. I uh, this thing overshot all all targets. I didn't expect to see a double top here in this. So. Um, I was wondering if you have any TV9 counts on your your software there. Perfect. Well, we do. So uh, now you're in bar number nine today on the daily time frame. Okay. And uh, price is moving higher. Do it. Go ahead. Could you post it, please? It is. Uh, it should be, you should be able to see this. the only chart that's up on the screen right now. So you okay. should see it either in the Tiger TV or on uh, or in the den out there. Yeah. And so you're so when, you, say, when you pay a dollar per year to join the Tiger's den, do you get access to these? your um your task market profile charts in real time you get you get access to anything that i post uh inside the tiger's den during the show this morning i had a doctor's appointment and so yeah. what i left up for what i left up for everybody inside the den were the four 30 minute time frame charts that showed all the uh, patterns it showed all of any profiles that had formed out there so when i have instances where i'm not going to be let's say using the computer and because mm -hmm. of this new uh because of this new uh, tiger's den system that we've got i'm able mm -hmm. to do that so uh don't know how often i'll be able uh, to do that because I'm usually pretty busy during the day but yeah. uh, so you know but you do get access to this and you can see it and so what this tells us when we take a look at the daily time frame chart out here is that we should see a top form between today and tomorrow mm -hmm. uh, now doesn't guarantee it but we should yeah. see a top we should see a top and and what that should do then Michael it price should pull back and target its oscillator and change line and that's printed out at 579 right now now Tomorrow's high, I don't know whether today's high or tomorrow's high is the important high. The highest high between today and tomorrow is the key mm -hmm. level. Because mm -hmm. if price begins trading above that high, whichever it is, this pattern yeah. will get negated. And that will tell you about a strong momentum to move to the upside in the uh, daily time frame. Now, we go from the daily time frame charts here because we are in bar number nine. We look for short-term signals to suggest that the top is forming on a 30 minute basis you have a td9 count top price is below this is the upper right hand chart i'll just simply expand this one out for everybody make it a little bit larger uh, easy for everybody to see out here and so this is suggesting to us because price is below the bottom of its 30 minute profile and you're in bar number seven that price should go target six dollars and eight cents that's mm -hmm. going to be your first key level if that okay. level gets tested and holds out here, then it says suspect with regard to whether or not there's a top or a change in trend today. If price closes below that, that says, okay, bar number nine is taking hold, and you should see a run to the 580 level. 60-minute okay. chart. 60 minute chart, same type of thing, different pattern, Rosemontum indicator pattern, and that says six dollars and six cents is the area to watch for support. I don't have a topping signal per se. There's probably an A to B equals C D pattern on the 120 minute chart out here right now. Price is testing support, but you've got enough from a topping signal standpoint on the 30 and the 60 minute chart that if you do see a close, I'd say below 606 right now today. That's going to be an indication that this TD9 count. Bar number nine is going to take hold or should take hold, and you should see it move back to 579. Does that now? Mm -hmm. And it's really now what I don't know is inside the UNG, this is the May contract. I don't know if with inside the UNG it's May and June or what contracts are in there. If I mm -hmm. do change over to UNG, and I'll do that here momentarily because you, you specifically asked about that, but the chart patterns are likely going to be different. That's why we would like to take a look at the underlying instrument. When we take a look at the UNG, though, you can see that today is also going to become bar number nine. So it's following along that 
uh, trip as well. This, Michael, says the UNG should pull back to about $20.14. Don't don't quote me to the T. That's just okay. what is printing right now on that oscillator and change line. So does that information help you out? No, it's, it's promising, yeah. It's promising. Uh, okay. Uh, it just, I, uh, this is a domestic, this is out of the Henry Hub, NYMEX, and yeah. uh, this is mostly domestic natural gas. Okay, and we're into the shoulder season, which is the physical storage season where they build up inventories, you know, so it's very unusual that you have such a big spike here, you know. Um, well, um, the thing is, though, I mean, and I just go back to even like on the UNG on the daily time frame. And if you just simply were to use just just use the oscillator and change line. Yeah. You know, when price is above that and it's green, it's very difficult to short something. It's not that it couldn't form a top. But that's going to be okay. your first level of support on a, a pullback. And as long as that level holds, it was nothing more than a retracement back to support. They don't always hold, but you want to pay attention to it. And so, I, look, I can see somebody that's an aggressive trader trying to take a short position in natural gas. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not necessarily recommending that, but I can, I can, can, you can justify it because of the TD9 count. But what you mm -hmm. have to realize is with price above that green oscillator and change line, the signal yeah. is neutral to bullish out here. It's not a bearish signal. So, okay. okay. Hey, uh, thanks okay. so much for calling in. We'll follow and, up next week. Okay, thank you, you very bet. much. You bet. That was Mike in uh, Niagara Falls, which is uh, what a beautiful place that is. Uh, so let's go to our next question. The next question was to take a look at Ethereum, E-T-H-E. -E. So we're going to go ahead and get these charts here populated. Let me try to uh, get over to my black background chart, and then let's read the question for Ethereum. This is the ETF, by the way, for Ethereum. I can't pull up Ethereum, uh, the uh, coin itself. Uh, so uh, let's take a look at, uh, Tim's question is, you're looking for an entry point to go along Ethereum. Please look at the daily and weekly timeframes out here. So if we take a look at the daily timeframes, you've got a TD9 count. That's really the most important time frame, I think, for us to look at because of the topping pattern out here. And you're looking for an entry point, Tim. So you get that nice TD9 count top, forms on March 29th. Price pulls back, and now you're below that green oscillator and change line, like Mike and I were talking. So when you're below a green oscillator and change line, it says you've got a further retracement. Turns out in the ETF, ETHE, this is pulling back into its bullish structured daily profile. And that's between the range of 2383 to 2442. So this is the range area where you could look at beginning to position. If price were to close below 2383, then you would anticipate a pullback to its breakout level of 2081. So 2081 would be the ideal level but we don't have a signal yet that says that that's what's going to happen so you got to look at that 2383 to 2442 level now what we do is go take a look at the intraday time frame chart see if there's any kind of bottoming signals well 15 minute the answer is yes td9 count the 30 minute the answer is no no bottoming signal the 65 minute you've got a td9 count that's going to complete here in about uh, 12 minutes 150 uh, is the uh, time frame, but it, it, that's the uh, yeah, that's the bar falling bar number nine. So I pay attention to today's low. If uh, Tim, if price starts trading below today's lows in ETHE after 150 in the afternoon, then you know you've got lower price coming to you. And instead of being 2442, it's likely 2383, or it could be that breakout level. But you do have a couple of instru a couple of time frames in Ethereum that are trying to form a bottom. Nothing that has taken hold just yet, and I do hope that that helps you out thanks so much for writing in and uh, best of luck to you steve Rhodes with tfn we get back from this break we've got questions from john from first station from eddie and we're certainly going to get to all those questions we'll be right back Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC. 
LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Let's go to John's question out here. This is John O. in Wisconsin. And uh, John writes in, hey, Steve, I shorted a Freeport MacRan, FCX, around 49 bucks. Uh, Freeport MacRan is trading at 48.10 right now. Your target for this trade is to have it move down to 44 or so, which it traded to on March the 15th. Uh, with good volume. This is also the area of the 50-day exponential moving average. Do you see a TD9 count or anything in your work that supports your short trade? So absolutely. So with regard to the support of the short trade on the daily time frame is the uh, Rhodes Mintum indicator top. Price is moving higher, doing less relative energy. And on the trading day of March 28th, that's when you got your signal uh, to go ahead and, and uh, short the stock. The only thing it would have traded or would have uh, negated that would have been a close above its high, and that high was 51.99. Now, here's what you're dealing with. I understand you want this to get to 44, but this is now pulling back into a bullish structure daily profile. The volume that it's really testing out here, John, is from March 29th. Now, you don't see the volume on my white background charts. I can share with you that the volume on that trading day was 15.7 million. It's 143 and the volume is 7.8 million. So this is pulling back into that swing point with lighter volume into a bullish structured profile out there. And you would need a close, and then even if price does move lower, your next level of support is its breakout level, and that's at 46.76. Now, at the same time that the daily is testing support, so too is the weekly. And again, support here is that green oscillator and change line. The green oscillator and change line on a weekly basis is 48.10. Granted, it's only Wednesday, but price right now is testing that level. So you've got two areas of support that are holding. The question is, what do we see on the short-term time frame charts out here? Do we see anything that suggests that John should jettison the position? On a 65-minute time frame chart, you've got a TD9 count bottom. And a close below that low, which would be 47.60, would say stay with the trade. Price is likely to get back to 46.76. You've got to take this one step at a time. That's the only bottom signal that I really have out here that I see immediately as I take a look at this. But... You know, I know you'd like this to get to 44 bucks, but you've got a new profile that formed. Your target, though, you know, and you're talking about the March 15th uh, type of target out there, 
there's been a lot of new information that presented itself before that. And that's where these task marker profiles are very helpful. So you know what this is doing right now. You're back at support on the weekly. You're back at a strong level of support on the daily and with light volume out there. So you've got to make a determination whether you want to take the money and run or you want to just go ahead and let this uh, play out. But just simply know you are absolutely back at support. So I hope that information helped you out, and uh, we'll look forward to speaking to you again. Joe writes in, and Joe wants to take a look at Derivian. Our IVN is the uh, ticker symbol. So let's get that going on our multi-time frame screen. Let's go ahead and read the question so we know what it is we're looking for. It says, hey, Steve, I'm in Rivian today for a long position at 41 buckaroonies. Should I hold or sell? and take a loss. Well, the good news is at 41.49, so you don't have to take a loss, so that's good. So you've got uh, some money out here. So with regard to Rivium, come on, go ahead and get all these charts going. There we go. So what do you know about Rivian? You've got two nice bottom patterns out here. So do I understand why you've taken this trade? First on a weekly time frame, and at the lows, this formed a nice Rosemontum indicator uh, bottom, and it did that with that uh, nice bullish piercing candle the week of March 18th out there. Now, uh, what Price has been unable to do is clear a key level of resistance, which is gonna be the top of its weekly profile at 71.50. On a daily time frame, you had a TD9 count and a Rosemontum indicator bottom. I'm gonna simply expand this out. Pull this back just a tad. And you had also had wave number seven. You got a three, four out there. What Price was unable to do was take out resistance at 59.14. It's pulling back right now. You'd like to see this hold this red oscillator and change line. If it closes below that, it says it's going to go target that March 15th level out there. So you've got the bottom signals. Only thing that negates that is a close below those lows. Those lows, by the way, are at 33.46. You're at 41. You probably don't want to feel that kind of heat. Let's look at the short-term time frame charts. 195-minute TD9 count pattern that is forming right now. 130-minute chart, no bottoming signal. TD9 count on the 65. TD9 count on the 30-minute and Rosemontum indicator signal on the 5-minute, 15-minute time frame chart out there. You'd love to see. Uh, you'd love to see 40. 207 and then 4482 fail to hold as resistance. Should you sell right now, knowing that you're back at support, that oscillator and change on in the daily time frame, and you've got those bottoming signals on those intraday charts? I believe the answer is no. But you're looking for price to really prove itself to you. 4184 is a level you'd like to see price close above, then 4207, and then I'd say uh, 4483. If you get that, then you're uh, out of the woods. But I don't know what the reasons were that you took that trade, but I don't see the reasons right now to jettison that trade and i do hope that helps you out joe and best of luck to you with um with rivian eddie writes in and eddie's question is with the es forming a td9 bottom and considering we are selling off again before the fed minutes do you think we can bounce when the minutes come out since uh, brainerd already spilled the beans about well and you want to take a look at apple so uh, as well so how do I answer his question? Well, first, I'm going to go ahead and populate this chart. The second thing I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to go switch back over to the black background charts. So give me a moment here to change the windows, because I, I want to make sure that it still has that bottoming pattern. And the bottoming pattern was a buy the D point that we took a look at for the uh, for the ES mini and it was a 60 minute time frame and the answer is it it is still held so the bottom is in there so you're saying so do I think that uh, when the minutes get released at two o'clock that the market could bounce the market has to prove itself to you and right now you're trading between support and resistance on a bottoming pattern out there if price were to close about 44.80 uh, at uh, 2 p.m., it's 148 right now. That would be a nice signal, but that would only be one bar above that level. Uh, it is, so all that I can share with you, Eddie, is you've got a valid bottom signal on a 60-minute time frame. We might have had it on the uh, on one of the other charts out there. I don't remember what the time frame was, but here you've got a key level of support, and that key level of support that you really should be watching. It's going to be the low of the day. And again, that low is at uh, 44.54.50. Price closes below that. The ES mini should go down to at least 44.23. Maybe it's lower than that. And if price can close above 44.80, then you should see a further rally inside the ES mini. So now let's go switch charts. You were asking about Apple. Let's go see what the Apple charts are suggesting at this moment in time. And here, that's going to be, uh, again, multi time framed out here. And Apple on a daily basis testing support. The support in Apple is the bottom of its daily profile, 170.79. So I guess the question is, what kind of volume does Apple have as it's pulling back into that support level? AAPL. I'm going to look at this on a different screen.
as soon as it populates. Uh, well, I don't really have what it's going against, so to speak. I mean, it was going against, I guess, 90 million shares. You're back with 49 million shares. It wasn't a swing point. It was just the trading day of March 24th as price is moving up. So you're pulling back in Apple on light volume. So what's it doing on the short-term time frame charts? TD9 count on the 65 should get priced to 174.16 out here. On the 30-minute chart for Apple, what Stevie got, doesn't look like I've got much. Just open this back up. Well, price is back above its oscillator and change line, and it's testing its 30-minute uh, profile. So even though I don't have a bottoming pattern out here, if price closes above 172.27 on a 30-minute basis, 10 minutes to go, that would be a bullish signal out there. But it would only be one bar above that level. If it had two bars above it, Eddie, then we'd say, okay, you're going to see more of a rally. Or you're looking again at an intraday time frame chart out there. So... Uh, so uh, I know you'd like the answer. The answer comes from the charts that we take a look at. And right now, we just know where support resistance is at. And uh, I can't do much more than that. So, Eddie, I do hope that helps you out. Thanks much for writing. And always good to hear from you. And have a, a great or a wonderful Wednesday. Hope you're right. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV.
Welcome back, folks. So uh, Eddie had asked about NVIDIA as well, and very similar to Apple, Eddie, and that is the short-term time frame charts, 15, 30, 65. Each have bottoming patterns out there. It says price is trying to bounce. The key level to be watching, so the first level is 246.70. You close above that, price should continue to move higher, move higher to where? I'd say about the 251 level. You close above 251, you've got more rally left. You take out the lows of the day because they are TD9 count patterns on those intraday time frame charts. That tells you that uh, NVIDIA is headed lower. Lower would be down to the 231.72 area out there. So uh, let's go back to our black background uh, screens out here, my e-signal charts, and we'll just simply uh, summarize what is going on inside the market. It's really basically where we started, which was this set of charts here. Left-hand panel, lower left-hand panel, spot follow till next. Price gets up to the 50-day, tests and rejects it. The ES Mini gets back to support the bottom of its daily profile, tests and rejects it. Now, what I don't know is what it's going to look like at day's end. But right now, if you're asking me, what has the market, what is the market doing? It is simply pulled back to support. And the bullish trend remains in effect. That would change if we see the ES Mini close below, or at least from a short-term basis, that would change if price closed below the 44.52 level. And the spot volatilics were to close above 24.50. The caveat there is, if the spot volatilics does that, you're going to have another day with a one-day rate of change above plus 10%. And again, you have to be watching for a bounce slash bottom to form overnight out there. Can I do the update on the NQ charts out here? I can. So let me, uh, well, I think I can. I think I can. Let me see if I can get there quick enough. NQ intraday charts. Change these screens out here. And really, it's the same kind of setup for the NQ. And that is this. And that this being that the uh, daily time frame, which is your left-hand panel chart, basically got down to the bottom of its profile at 14,391. It actually got down to a low of 14,420. We've got a TD9 count bottom now and a 120-minute chart, the 60-minute chart. Bottom pattern on the 30-minute chart. Bottom pattern on the 15-minute chart. Bottom, bottom pattern on the 10. And on the 5-minute chart for the NQs. Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White's up next. Tom O'Brien, he'll take us on home. I'll be back with you on a terrific Thursday. Have a wonderful Wednesday.